We really are. Oh, finally, well, there we're we live. Go. Yay. <laughs> Yay, you. We did it. We're finally streaming live. This, I believe, is going into the business page. So thank you all for your patience. And that will also be a place where everyone can share from. So as people keep filing into the room here, we're so happy to have all of our incredible speakers and guests with us today. And we've got a lot of rapid fire uh, networking to do, and um, we're gonna just jump right in. So as most of you know, this is the kickoff to our Visibility 30 Challenge. This was born from uh, kind of a crazy idea I had where I, I wrote something on my refrigerator. I've been looking at it almost every day for a couple months saying, what is everyone missing? And then this is the answer that came in was to do something that really brings you know, my community, the wonderful people, experts, clients, colleagues that I have together and to get some incredible visibility in a really short amount of time. Everyone's so busy these days and everybody I know is looking to reach their audience. So I thought, why don't we try something new, a little different? Um, I've done summits, I've done a podcast, I've done live events, I've done all the, you know, the things. And I thought, why don't I just mishmash it all together? <laughs> and so that's kind of what we've created here is uh, officially the Visibility 30 Challenge starts Thursday. That's going to be 30 days of emails and inspiration and tips and guides, uh, guidance to get visible within 30 days. And then along the way, we're doing these visibility parties. So my first goal was 100 speakers in 30 days we suddenly realized that's a little too insane. So we're now doing that in 60 days. <laughs> so that's why you're all here. And I just honor and appreciate all of you for saying yes and showing up and coming out to play with me. Um, also, my intention this year has been to have a lot more fun in my business and create uh, more space and fun for everyone. So as you all know, um, we have an hour to do this. So uh, we know we're giving you a really tight timeline of two minutes each to have the spotlight. And it's also kind of a good exercise for all of our muscles because a lot of what I teach with my visibility work is getting that expert affirmation statement out, sort of your mission statement, who you are, who you serve, uh, really what you're doing in the world in a quick, concise way that people can get it and digest it. And then know that like you're the person they need for that thing. And so, you know, basically what's going to happen is each person's going to go for two minutes. We do have a timer. Nora's running Google timer. So it's going to come through the computer sound. So you'll hear a light little dinging when your two minutes have hit. And then we'll just move on and we'll keep spotlighting each person. We'll be sharing your gifts that you shared with us, the links or your call to action in the chat. So Really all the engagement here is will be happening in the chat. So if you have something for someone, um, you know, you're, we ask that all our speakers try to give at least one hot visibility tip. And if they have time, if they wanna ask something of everyone who's here, if you're looking for something or need something, this is an opportunity to connect with not only the other panelists, but uh, the people here in the audience. So we have uh, the chat for that, for connection. And then we've also created uh, a post for an after party in my Facebook community, which Nora will put the link in for that. And that's another place because obviously once we leave the Zoom room, the chat and everything goes away. If you wanna continue connecting, tagging each other, chatting, um, I think pretty much all of you are in the Facebook community and that's a place to keep, keep the party and connection going. So wonderful to see you all. I see we got, um, some awesome people from around the world saying hello here, beautiful. And so this really, you know, I think is where things are heading. We're leaving like the old paradigm, the old way of doing business. And there's a lot of things shifting and changing and happening in the world. So I truly believe that the, the new way forward is collaboration and authentic connection. I think anyone here might be able to relate that they're a little bit over technology devices, bots, right? Being contacted by AI bots <laughs> for things and constantly being sold to. So really like the way forward that I'm seeing and the big shift, even in just the past few months that I've recognized is I'm always trying to keep my finger on the pulse of what's working in the digital marketing space is this, you know, truer, genuine connection that we all are craving. Even if we're still behind our computer screens, we can still connect in a more authentic, deep way. 
So this is where we're at. We actually are, this has come into reality. Like, thank you all for helping make this a reality, this little harebrained idea I had, and we're doing it. So to all of our speakers, again, you'll have the two minutes, you'll hear the little ding, uh, you'll be spot on spotlight for your two minutes. And just know that after also you can share the replay, and this is kind of becoming an evergreen lead magnet for everyone and, and your gifts. Um, so I think we've created a pretty cool platform for people to get a lot of visibility really quickly uh, and reach 20 new networks in a short amount of time. So the one you know kind of term that we have is just please no direct selling or fundraising. Uh, if people resonate with you, they're gonna follow you, they're gonna connect with you. Um, also, same goes for the guests in the chat. Please no spammy lead mining or anything like that. If we see that, adios, <laughs> you're out. And um, this, today it's really about the speakers. So please give them your attention. And uh, the best thing I could recommend is also to continue connecting in the after party in the Facebook group. So as long as we can get that link, Nora, if you don't mind posting that in here, maybe a couple of times. So they just make sure they see that. And stick around to the end. We're going to have a couple trivia um, questions with prizes. And you know, our mission really here is visibility, sharing information, connections, and community. I do believe information is power, and that connection and community creates currency. So with that, let's all dive in to our first guest. And we have a very special guest for our first presentation. Uh, we're giving. Uh, this very special person who some of you, a lot of you actually know each other in here, uh, know from Crom Castle in Northern Ireland, we have John Crichton, the Earl of Urn. We're actually giving him the floor for five minutes as kind of our keynote. I, I jokingly asked him, when's the last time you gave a five minute keynote? So, <laughs> so with that, we'll spotlight you and we'll, we'll give you the floor. Helen, a huge thank you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. And uh, thank you, Helen, for inviting me onto this amazing platform. Uh, my name is John Crichton. I am the seventh Earl of Urn. And uh, on the very sad death of my father in 2015, I was given the privilege of inheriting the magnificent Crumb Castle where I'm coming to you live from at the moment with my lovely dog Truffle and my beloved wife Harriet is hovering around in the background as well. Um, on the death of my father, I inherited Crumb Castle and the title of the seventh Earl of Anne. A little bit of a keynote there on you Downton Abbey fans maybe um, out there and a little bit of that um, a bit later. So uh, where are we? We are in Crum Castle, which is situated on the beautiful shores of Loch Erne in County Fermanagh, Northern Ireland, um, set in about 1900 acres of um, beautiful National Trust Parkland protected, a wildlife conservation area. And uh, to have this privilege is huge. So what do you do? Uh, you know, Harriet and I decided we'd like to live here uh, rather than run it as a machine. Um, so what does one do to be able to live here and maintain this majestic pile of stones? Um, our website is down at the moment, sadly, but we are on Instagram at Crumb Castle for those of you who'd like a, a better look. Um, to do this is a huge responsibility. It's a privilege. It's a complete honor. And we decided that we would open our home um, to the public, to commercial ventures, etc., in order to meet the astronomical bills that sadly we have to maintain uh, Crumb Castle. Uh, so we diversify in lots of lovely ways. Uh, we do weddings um, and uh, more importantly, the way we'd like to go um, is to um, invite people to come and stay, obviously on a paying basis where we will give them the full treatment. We are absolutely blessed to have the most fantastic team who look after us behind the scenes. Without them, we couldn't do what we'd like to do here. So when I refer to the Downton Abbey experience, this is what you'll get. Uh, we've got our Mr. Carson, we've got our Mrs. Hughes, there's a couple of daisies running around, looking after the place, and they will, as we would, welcome you into Crumb Castle uh, for a stay in this majestic island of Ireland. 
Um, you'll be met by Francis the butler. Your luggage will be taken up to your room where you might then come down for afternoon tea with myself, the Earl, and my wife, Harriet the Countess, uh, to look after you. And then there are amazing things we can do here. Uh, Crumb Estate, um, as I said, is set in 1900 acres of Parkland. Um, it's a majestical, romantic place with a huge pool. And all the people that have come here have said what an extraordinary place it is. Um, we're on Loch Earn, so we do boat trips, we do picnics. We go to the old ruins where the family used to live back in the uh, 1700s, uh, which is fantastic. And then it's back to the castle for a, a sumptuous dinner, possibly all done with your instructions to our wonderful chefs. Francis, our butler, will look after you, as will Joan, our housekeeper, and Harriet and I, the Earl and Countess, will be there to tend to your every need. It's an extraordinary thing having the privilege of doing this. And uh, we did think, well, do we move out and just run it as a machine with maybe 50, 60 coach loads a day, uh, a tea room, a coffee room. But we felt that a lot of people were doing that. We wanna make this a bit more special. We're not a hotel, uh, we're not a guest house. We are a home. The minute you arrive, you'll maybe hear the dogs barking. Um, the, the, you know, the exciting atmosphere of, of, of what's going on. Um, so that's exactly what we'd like to do. And I'm so privileged to be the first person to kick off this amazing platform. And I do understand that two very special people, apart from the lovely Heather, are online as well, who have been here. Karen McDermott, who I'm sure you'll hear from later from Australia, and her lovely sister Emma Weaver, um, coming from only half an hour away from the castle, have both been here. And they put their trust in us many years ago to uh, take over Crum for a wonderful writer's retreat. That then led on to being me introduced to Shelley, um, who is where I met Heather. And so Shelley then organized uh, a networking event here, which was a huge success. So much so that she's coming back um, this uh, May with another crowd of lovely uh, people from around the world. So as I said, we diversify, we do small groups, which we host. And oh, I think that's my time up, is it? Is that five minutes? But anyway, um, it's been a privilege and I hope you've been able to hear um, a bit about what we do at Crumb Castle. Beautiful. Well done, John. All right, let's get some, a, hand, a round of applause here for being able to just really uh, share the essence of what you do in such a concise okay. way. And yes, I can absolutely testify and vouch for the fact that it is an extremely unique experience. The, you know, um, the castle itself is gorgeous. You get to spend time with uh, Piglet and Truffle and <laughs> Francis the butler is just a, a wonderful, you know, addition and part of the experience. So thank you so much for coming out today and sharing. And uh, I see lots of love coming through the chat here for you, people following you on Instagram. And so let's, yeah, let's keep those connections going. Thank and um, thank you, John. My pleasure. My yeah. pleasure. And thank you, Heather. Beautiful. Okay, wonderful. So we have next up, Dr. Debbie Silver. Welcome, Debbie. Well, uh, thank you. So much. Thank you so much. You know, it's, it's interesting. I've spoken on so many stages. I have never followed an Earl. <laughs> Just amazing. And, and well, <laughs> um, I don't run a castle. I run the PBT Institute and that stands for post betrayal transformation. You don't study something like betrayal unless you have to. It's my 30th year in business and health mindset, personal development, and then horrible betrayals, which led me uh, to a PhD program in transpersonal psychology because I was determined to study my way out of this thing. And that study, I did a study on betrayal. It led to three groundbreaking discoveries, which changed my health, my business, my family, my life. All of the findings, everything we've learned is now uh, what's within the PBT Institute. There's truly no place like it. So we have our certified coaches teaching daily classes and they specialize in narcissism and uh, forgiveness and addiction and reconciliation. I mean, everything. And then we have self-paced programs and I'm in there doing Q&A. We bring in experts to teach master classes and just a very unique and amazing community to lift and inspire not to keep you stuck. So uh, it's just, it's, it's such a blessing and a privilege to uh, watch people move through the five stages of betrayal. That was one of the discoveries. There are five and uh, people 
people, most people get stuck in stage three. Hope I got you a little bit curious. Um, but if you've been betrayed, if you if you've been uh, if you've had your trust shattered, you owe it to yourself to move fully through the stages. And some of you, I'm looking here, have been uh, either on the podcast from Betrayal to Breakthrough, have been uh, within the community, tell us to masterclass, and it's just a, a privilege just to share this space with you. Um, as far as visibility, uh, that's Heather's world. Heather, thank you so much for bringing me in. I would say every single person here has a very unique gift, strength, talent, calling. You do something that no one else on the planet does like you. Uh, and your job and obligation is to figure out what it is so you can do that. Thanks so much. Beautiful. I'm back. Thank you, Debbie. And then Nora is also just making sure to put those links in there. So just keep an eye on the chat. Um, Debbie's gift is in there. Uh, also, we put the link in for John to follow Crom Castle. So as each person is speaking, pay attention to the chat to get their free gift or their call to action. So beautiful, Debbie. And I also um, have been in your PBT Institute and been on your podcast and just in your world and can say that your information that you've gathered, I think we kind of, we started calling you the Brene Brown of vulnerability. Like you are on fire. You've been a Dr. Oz. Like if you guys have any, have ever had any heartbreak, definitely Debbie is someone you want to check in with and get to know. Beautiful. Uh, okay. We have uh, next up Catherine Winter Celery. Welcome. Welcome. Hi. Can you guys hear me? Yes, all good. Oh, fantastic. Well, first of all, Heather, phenomenal, yep. phenomenal event. Thank you so much. It's such a pleasure to be here. So my name is Catherine Celery. I'm a parenting coach, parenting expert, founder of the Conscious Parenting Revolution. And um, I'm an author, best-selling author as well. I have three TED Talks. I talk about um, retaliation, rebellion, and resistance, the three R's, the proverbial three R's. And my mission is really to support families to heal where there are resentment flows and to understand if the three R's or any one of the three R's are in the house, that 75% of behavioral disruptions usually are one of the three. And that those behavioral disruptions that are the three R's come from a controlling form of discipline. So ultimately we can eliminate them by learning new skills and teaching children to cooperate and behave, not because they have to, but because they want to. And the difference between the have to and the want to is everything. Um, but I see it not only in the microcosm of the family, but I see it in the macrocosm of the world. And uh, two years ago, I hosted the largest meditation in US history in a three-day National Mental Health and Mental Fitness summer, Summit in Denver, Colorado. And that event was to really highlight mental fitness and the need for us to recognize these three R's and the tragic expression of the unmet need, they're really everywhere. And when we can move from the presenting problem to the underlying unmet need, we can change the planet and we can change how people interact. So it's a big mission. And um, I'm lucky on the visibility front, I've just nailed a position as a contributor on a nationally syndicated TV program called The Daily Flash in 82 cities. And that was a dream of mine. Heather and I were talking the other day and I said, I remember thinking to myself, I just need to be a regular parenting expert on national TV. And then boom, it happened. And my tip is that when my Amazon bestseller went to number one, we did a press release. And from the press release, it was picked up by the Daily Flash. They reached out to us. They said, we're looking for a parenting expert. Would you come on the show? We're syndicated in 82 cities. And if it goes well, we'd like to have you back, uh, you know, more than once. And it went well, and I'm back more than once. So that's my tip is that if you have something to celebrate, do a press release. Wonderful. Thank you, Catherine. I so appreciate that. And you and you're bringing your energy here today. And yeah, congratulations on that syndicated uh, you know, anytime something's in syndication too, obviously that's going to get you a lot more eyeballs. So I can't wait to see you on you so more much. screens everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. And also grab her gift in there. We've got her uh, seven strategies to keep your relationship with your kids from hitting the boiling point. Yes. Beautiful. Okay. So we have uh, next up Mel Larson. Hello, welcome. Hi. hi, thank you so much, Heather. So hi, everyone. It's great to be here. 
So I am a marketing and mindset mentor, and I coach creative thinking and caring entrepreneurs to finally trust their big vision and joyfully grow the business of their ultimate dreams. So my tip for you, my hot tip is to do something unusual or different. So for example, I did a Facebook Live every day for a whole year. I showed up when I was tired. I showed up when I was sick and I lost my voice. I showed up when I was on holiday. I showed up when I ran out of things to say. I showed up for 365 days. Now I'm repurposing all of that information that I created, the video. So I share my videos in my emails. I talk about it like I'm talking about it. Now I've got something to talk about. I've done something different uh, in interviews. And I'm going to repurpose a lot of the content into blogs and posts. So um, create something uh, that you can talk about that makes you stand out. Not many people have done that. And it fits nicely with my brand because I'm coaching people to really commit to their big dream. Heather, you asked us to ask for tips as well. And I'm really interested in people's guest interview tips. If you're a guest on an interview, what are your tips for standing out in that interview? Heather, thank you so much. It's fantastic to be here. Great to see you all. Wonderful. Thank you, Mel. Yeah, so that's, again, if anyone wants to connect with Mel on you know her strengths, her expertise, uh, also make sure you grab her uh, guided visualization here in the chat. And yeah, if you have any tips and you feel like you've done things that work well, then, you know, please keep the conversation going with each other. Reach out to Mel. Um, our post is now live in the uh, Facebook group for the after party. So you can go ahead over there if you want to keep continuing to connect with each other as well as in the chat here. So beautiful. Okay. Thank you, Mel. So great to see you. Wonderful. Okay, we have, whoops, I think Nora and I are hitting at the same time. Okay, so we have, um, next up, we have the lovely Trisha Nelson. So welcome, Trisha. So great to see you today. Hi, great to be here. Welcome everybody who's here. And thanks, Heather, for like <laughs> pulling together an amazing event. Great to hear from everybody. Um, my name is Trisha Nelson. My company is called Heal Your Hunger, and I help people who struggle chronically with food and weight to lose weight without crazy diets or impossible exercise programs. And I do this from my own personal experience of having been 50 pounds overweight. And uh, this has been my lifelong journey of helping people. I created a step-by-step -step system to overcome emotional eating, which I find to be usually the crux of the problem. Uh, when people have stubborn weight loss and it's, you know, diets haven't worked for them. They've been on the diet track forever. And that was my story. And I uh, am somebody who was really down and out with food addiction. And at one time would eat, it would throw a binge and throw the food out and, and retrieve it from the trash. And I felt so demoralized and awful about it. And then I did a Ted talk and described the whole thing. <laughs> So, so my tip is that if you want to have a TED, TEDx talk, go for it, but be persistent because it took me three years to get a TEDx, to land a TEDx talk. My first TEDx talk was rejected by the TEDx board. I did the talk. It was, I was invited to do it. And then the TEDx board rejected it. I didn't know that could happen. I persisted. I did another talk. Um, in October and it just went live. So my ask is, can you check out my TEDx talk? I'm actually gonna put, it's okay. I'm gonna put the little um, uh, uh, in the chat. I just put the link to the TEDx talk. It's called Emotional Eating. What if weight loss isn't about the food? Um, and it was just really, you know, it's, it was a dream of mine and I'm grateful it happened, but I'm telling you, I had to be persistent. <laughs> so now my, now, as I just learned my hot tip from Catherine, I'm gonna do a press release about my TEDx talk and get it out there and hopefully grow my views. So I'd love your help with that. And I do have a quiz. If you know anybody struggling, they can take the quiz. Thanks. Beautiful. Thank you, Trisha. Yeah, and you've got your quiz uh, link in there. Uh, check out her uh, TEDx talk as well. And uh, yeah, that persistence does pay. That's one of my mottos, persistence pays. So I love that. 
excellent advice and insight. Thank you, Trisha. Okay, we have uh, next up uh, the lovely Sonia Jackson. Hello there, everyone. I'm Sonia Jackson. Everybody is great. I'm loving this information and how it's flowing. So my expertise is with more than 30 years experience in film and television, I am a master storyteller and I allow my spirituality to guide the gifts that I have and take inter and entertain people and take my audiences on a journey of transformation. Specifically, I want women to see themselves as beautiful, elegant, and the powerful beings that they are. And I want men to see them that way as well. So the idea is for women to walk through life in a way that transmits that confidence sway in their hips. And what I'm doing now is the 17th anniversary of Conversations About the Girls. These are the girls. It is a play that honors women and their relationship with their breasts. And what I've done is, and it's also how I honor my mom. And what I've done is created Breastable. It's an event about breasts, bodies, and beyond. And at this Breastable, it takes place May 14th. We're doing it to raise awareness regarding breast health and to raise funds for Susan G. Coleman because there's just not enough funds to get done what we need to get done around women's health. And my idea is to, the, the tip that I give is to talk to everyone. And especially if you want your visibility, if you, if you wanna speak to people, talk to everyone. And, and those rooms that of 500 people or a thousand people, you're just talking to one person. They just happen to be in a thousand seats or 500 seats. And that's a tip that I had gotten from someone else, but it is worth, spreading because you want to you need to spread your message you need to be able to talk to everyone and one of the challenges that I have I'm asking for is possible cast connections because we're doing this show with a star-studded cast and currently we have six well six can't give you their names yet but we do have six members of the cast and if you know somebody who would love to participate as a reader in the play We'd love for you to, we'd like to create a letter for them, give it to you and have you forward it to them. So thanks so much. And we'll talk to you soon. Wonderful. Thank you, Sonia. And yes, there's, the link is in there for, to keep in touch with Sonia and her, find out more, get updates about Restival coming soon. And we do have some incredible creatives in the room here who I'm sure have some ideas percolating uh, to connect you with um, for potential actors for the reading. So feel free to reach out to Sonia, stay in touch and yeah, beautiful tips as well on the visibility piece. Okay, wonderful. So we have next up the lovely Karen McDermott. Hi, Karen. Hello everyone, how are you going? Thank you for hosting this, Heather. Um, me and Heather had a lot of fun with John in the castle. I highly recommend it, guys, get over to the castle. We're there in June if you wanna come and join us and write your books. <laughs> so my name is Karen McDermott. I'm an author and a publisher and a speaker. I've done, I'm about to do my third TEDx talk with Emma Weaver there, who is my sister and doing it on her stage in Ireland. Um, I'm in Perth, Australia, so it's nice and early in the morning here. Um, I'm a mom of six children, so hopefully this day asleep. <laughs> and um, and primarily I'm a publisher at, um, I built a publishing empire, and I call myself an accidental publisher because I wrote a book first, fell into publishing, but my passion is to join people on the journey of sharing stories with the world, because it's so much more than a book. Um, joining an author on their author journey is, um, is an absolute honor and there's some of my authors here I can't wait for you to hear from Lee Harrell and Heather is in one of our books The Business of Connection there's so many and um, it's just one of the best visibility tools so that's my tip if you want to get visible get in a book get talking about it as the best leveraging tool ever but as well as being an author I'm very passionate about um, sharing my philosophies of life with the world hence the weaver part I write as weaver 
and I write about my seven life principles. And so there's a link to come join me in my free group, which is Life Magic Mastery and um, with KP Weaver. And I started it because everybody asked me, how do you do what you do? And it's because I prioritize joy and I live by seven life principles. And that's why I was so happy to hear, Heather, you're prioritizing joy this year and what a ride it's going to be. Because when you're joyous, everybody wants to come along for the journey. It's such a special thing. So yeah, um, with I, I built up an empire of three publishing presses, Serenity Press, MMH Press and KMB Books, where I can help so many authors get their books out into the world. And that has been a journey in itself. So thank you so much for listening, guys. Wonderful. Thank you, Karen. Thanks for sharing your gifts and your light with us. And uh, as always, it's a pleasure to have you in the room. We, we play a lot and we're doing, hopping into each other's groups and doing interviews and sharing information together because PR and authorship goes pretty much hand in hand. And I'm excited to see what comes next for you this year. Wonderful. And Karen's got a gift in there too, as well, to um, become a member of her community and her group. Uh, for free membership. So go ahead and check that out. And next up we have Emma Weaver. Hi, Emma. Hi, how very apt. <laughs> this how is very her. apt to have me following Karen. She is my <laughs> older sister, so it just naturally happens. Um, it's amazing to be here, especially from the conversation, Heather, from the start and to see it come into fruition. Um, I am Emma Weaver. I live here in Ireland and my background is primarily mental health. I've worked over 23 years in mental health in all different genres. And I realized throughout my journey that there are so many gaps in the support that's offered to, to people and as a manager of mental health services by the time you're sitting in front of me you've potentially been very unwell and had to jump through a lot of hoops and services so then um, in 2019 I formed Mental Wealth International and that came from my recognition of that mental health support isn't there for everybody and this inclination of reach out for support all the time it's good to talk it doesn't work for everybody so I feel and what we offer is we go outwards we go out into communities and support people to create cultures of well-being mostly at bays and construction gyms tech all the places that you wouldn't ordinarily see a lot of mental health support we're going in and offering mental wealth workshops and first mental health first aid or trainer and different things so i'm trying to change i am changing the narrative of mental health through mental wealth international um, I'm also a best-selling author of my book, The Blue Line, and that was based on a personal experience of going through IVF and the unsuccessful um, tries, and then, um, I suppose, spoiler alert, successful at the end. So um, I enjoyed writing that book and getting stories out, which then led to me doing two TED Talks. It's amazing how many TED speakers there are here. I'm like, yay! Um, led me to doing two TED Talks and becoming involved in the, the TED world. So I am now a very proud license holder of TEDx in a skillin, um, which we are running in June. And um, it's took a lot of work. It took a lot of hard work. But one of my passions genuinely is to help people to use their voice. We all have a voice so that support people to use their voice and doing that through the TED platform is amazing. And um, yeah, that's what we're doing at the minute. Karen is going to grace the stage. I see Chet is here as well. He is going to be one of our TEDx speakers. So there's an amazing um, array of people. And just my visibility tip is create videos. Be, be visible your content through videos and um, make them educational as opposed to them being selling instead of trying to sell things educate people and become a thought leader so that's my tips wonderful thank you and we'll just get a spotlight here there we go <laughs> Great, Emma, thank you so much. So yes, this is um, really exciting, a new development for you hosting uh, a TEDx stage. So if anyone else out there is interested, we've got a lot of TEDx speakers here. If anyone's interested in connecting with Emma about that, go ahead and email her. She has her uh, top seven tips 
Uh, let's see, we've got, yep, yeah, I think she put it in here. Uh, and you've got a lot of you know great love coming through here. Okay, so top seven TED uh, tips uh, by emailing her at her email address here in the chat. Fantastic. So wonderful. Thank you, Emma. Thanks for sharing today. It's great to see you. Beautiful. Okay, we have next up Leslie Saglio. Mm -hmm. Hi, Leslie. Hi. Hello, Heather. Hello, everyone. Thank you for having me. Well, I'm coming to you from Barcelona, Spain. I've been in Europe for about 16 years now. I moved here for love for my husband that I met online, which was a very taboo subject back then, 17 years ago. But I'm originally from Los Angeles, California. And in my previous life there, I was a Hollywood executive, startup co-founder. But now um, I am a certified trauma-informed master coach, facilitator, and speaker, and founder of the Feminine Power and Purpose Immersion. And I coach women to awaken their feminine power so that they can be happy and free to live a more purposeful and pleasure-filled life. So my visibility tip would be echoing, I think, what some of the women have shared here already, simply because I just landed my first TEDx talk <laughs> two weeks ago. I was not even looking. I was not applying. This person actually reached out to me. She was coming to one of my in-person events. She saw my videos on LinkedIn, and she wanted to speak to me about being a speaker on their stage. So I would definitely echo the fact of just going out there, getting out there, doing videos, creating value, connecting with your audience, and you never know who's watching and what it's going to bring to you. That would be my tip. Thank you for having me. Beautiful. Thank you, Leslie. So great to see you. Let's see. Get back on the spotlight here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And Leslie, you can still catch her three-day masterclass, Three Keys to Manifest Anything You Desire, no matter what is happening in the world. So go ahead, check out that link we just posted in there for Leslie. Thank you for coming out today. And uh, we have next up uh, Maya Lisa Adams, another TEDx-themed uh, presentation here. We've got TEDx. I think the theme today might be TEDx. <laughs> Hey, everybody, it's good to see you. I'm sitting here at a TEDx stage in my hometown, TEDx Rexburg. And what I have to share is three quick stories. One of the first people I helped was someone who happened to be speaking like this and said, I'd like to give a TED talk. She was talking to a thousand people and I walked over and said, I can help you with that. It's worked out really well for her because she has 1.75 million views and a lot of impact as well. But you don't even have to speak about what you do for business, what you're doing right now. Tasha is someone who is a very intelligent businesswoman, and she spoke about her daughter's OCD. And here's my tip for you. The reason Tasha has almost over 820,000 views right now is because she got involved with the OCD community before, during, and after. That's my visibility tip for you. So all of you who are giving TEDx talks right now are giving them. You got to tell people that you're getting on the stage. You got to tell them that you're doing it and get them involved. Like, I'm going to talk about OCD. So what, what am I missing here? Because it's my daughter who has it, not me. But you never know what's going to come from that because Tasha was actually offered a vice president position because of her TEDx talk. She was at a trade show. Someone was talking to her. They wanted to meet someone else and he wasn't around. So that woman Googled her. And by the time she got there, she would pulled up her TED talk. It was at the top, her TEDx talk. And from that, they connected and she became a vice president. So there's power in a TED Talk. And my last message to you is don't wait. March 2020, Jacqueline got on the stage at a TEDx event and she shared what she wanted to leave a legacy about. I'm so glad she did because 13 months later, she died. You have a message in you. Don't wait to share it. And the easiest way to be seen, known, and loved is simply take a link of your TEDx Talk like Emma and Karen and Tricia, and um, I'm sorry, I don't know the name who just went before me. Congratulations on getting those. It's a very easy way to, to send it out, just like it did for Tasha. And I also have top 10 tips, and you can go to mlspeaks.com and find out what's in an organizer's head. Beautiful, wonderful, Maya Lisa. Wow, powerful. Thank you so much for for sharing that insight. And yeah, we just recently connected and um, in just our short connection, you got so many ideas percolating for me. 
<laughs> so I feel like I feel like the TEDx angels are like calling. Yes. <laughs> so we can help each other if you want to do a TEDx talk. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you so much. Beautiful. Okay. And we might be going a little over here today for our first one. So we appreciate your patience. We're going to do our best to uh, keep cranking through here. We've got next up uh, Katie Chen Mazzara, if I'm saying that correctly. Did I say it with the Italian accent? <laughs> it's it's Mazzara, yeah. <laughs> Mazzara, Mazzara. <laughs> Mazzara. Yeah, if you're in Italy, you have to be like, Mazzara. Yeah, I'm quarter <laughs> Italian, so I can't help it. <laughs> Welcome, welcome. Thank you. What an incredible group of speakers that we've had today. Um, I'm so honored to be here. I'm Katie Chen Mazzara. I'm a financial coach who helps creative freedom seekers make more, worry less, and achieve true financial freedom so you can live the life of your dreams. Um, I was a former TV producer for over 15 years. So not sure why that on, one second. Let's, we got some feedback. Okay. I think, did we catch it? Whoever, wherever that's coming from. <laughs> We're getting a little like background music for you. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Um, I was a former TV producer, a freelance TV producer. So I really understand the cycle of feast or famine. And I also do what I'm doing because I've known three women in my life who stayed in abusive relationships because of the lack of money. And they had small children to take care of and they really did not think that they could do it on their own because they didn't work outside of their home. So my mission is to really empower everyone I know to make decisions not based on money. Instead, I want you to make decisions based on the dreams that you have for your life and the dreams that you have for your family. And this all leads to my visibility tip, which is to speak up about something that you're really, really passionate about. And so besides talking about the spiritual and practical ways of um, making money and getting to true financial freedom, I also am really passionate about Asian American issues, especially what happened last year during the escalation of violence against Asian Americans. And during that time, I actually was working with a visibility coach. Um, most of the time, big groups like this really would make me super nervous. I am still a little bit nervous <laughs> speaking in this group. Um, however, when that whole thing came up, I felt like I had to speak up. There was something in me that really pushed me to say, like, I need to talk about my story and about how I grew up and about the racism that I've encountered as a child. So thank you. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Katie. And we have your financial freedom formula based on your personality, the link in here for your money personality quiz. So please feel free to go take that and connect, stay connected to Katie. Wonderful. It's so great to meet you and have you here. I, you came through Leslie. So a friend of Leslie's is a friend of mine. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you, Katie. And we have, uh, let's see, next up, Jean Marie Russo. Is Jeannie still here? Did we lose Jean? Maybe we can, uh, we've got, if she's not here, maybe she had to bounce out. Um, we've got Tamarin. And then we can come back to Jean, Jeannie, Tamarin. Welcome, welcome. Hello, Heather. Thank you so much for the invite. This has been amazing so far. Wow, I'm feeling the connections with so many people already. So my name is Tamarin and I'm a spiritual alchemist who teaches astrology lovers how to transform their life by decoding their personal birth chart with my signature alchemy program. It's called the Elixir of Life. I use my former private investigator skills to help determine the specific course of entrepreneurship by using alternate forms of new age divination skills and mindset tools to help solve those hidden mysteries of each person's soul's journey. And as a certified health coach, Bach flower essence practitioner, cannabis and essential oils expert, 
I save my clients a ton of money and time by recommending the best natural remedies and strategies to realign their vibrational energy in order to fulfill their legacy and a life of joy. And I specialize in working with high profile women who have the option to remain as an anonymous client. And as an ex-private investigator, I understand that need for privacy and I know how to deliver and respect a client's wish. And I have my rustic cabin up here in Northern Ontario listed on Airbnb for private additional stays. It's perfect for that silent retreat. And my clients can just hang out and embrace this powerful healing energy of nature. And Northern Ontario is a spectacular and beautiful area to enjoy. And the spectacular sunsets alone, hiking trails will capture anyone's heart. So my big hot tip for anyone today is to always gather those amazing testimonials from your clients after working with them so that you can use them in your ongoing marketing materials. Those strong testimonials equal strong referrals. And I've created a testimonial template to send to my clients that it makes it easy for them to use and fill out so that they can be specific to my marketing content. I don't want to hear, yay, it was great working with me. I want to reuse that marketing content. Oh, that's my time up. Wonderful. Thank you, Tamarin. Yeah, it's been great working with you this past year. So um, your invitation is for people to join you in your full moon circles. So a uh, powerful way to celebrate every month. Uh, thank you, Tamarin. And we have... Um, yeah, it's, sorry, I jumped ahead here. So I think we've got, uh, so Jean, sorry, you were, we were actually gonna have Bryn go next. So that was my bad. Go ahead, uh, let's bring on Bryn, here we go. Other, everyone, hi. All hi. in divine order, that was so perfect because Tamron, you and I need to know each other. And I think this is like the perfect two people to be tied next to or sat next to each other. Um, so I'm Bryn Brown, you guys, it's so nice to meet you. I, uh, I'm a student of all things metaphysical. I have been since I was about 13 years old, somehow landed in a very left brain sales career and uh, left corporate a number of years ago to launch my coaching business. So today I work with spiritual and creative entrepreneurs, uh, people who see their craft as one piece and the business as the other side. And I teach them how to create consistency in their business. And we use a lot of the spiritual tools. So um, while I don't do astrology necessarily, I use human design as one of my favorite tools. We use meditation. Um, I teach them how to increase their uh, communication with their own intuitive abilities so that they can sort of um, learn how to make these decisions for themselves moving forward. But we really craft a business that is what they want it to look like, not... <sighs> not this corporate energy that has been brought into online businesses and service-based businesses that is like, you just need to do it this certain way and follow this path. And it's one for everyone. It's not. Um, and so we craft really bespoke businesses and it's such a beautiful um, unfolding for my clients. So that's what I do. One of the things that I teach is a really genuine way to get referrals going, a nice, systematic, easy way that feels really good and comfortable to get referrals coming in. That's my visibility tip. There is no one that is going to champion harder for you than someone who already knows the light that you have to shine and wants to spread the word for you. And all they need is for you to ask them to help. So ask for referrals, ask for referrals consistently and teach your, your network how to send people your way. Because when people come through a referral, they have a really high no like trust factor and it's much easier to find the right fit and bring on new clients from that perspective. So if that fits for your business, um, then that's what I have to offer. And the ask I was going to have is this year, I'm really for the first time ever turning my attention toward speaking. And so I had you know, and ask about that, but you guys already gave it with all the TED talk, TEDx stuff. So I think I'm, I think I'm good. Thank you. I'm honored to be here. Beautiful. Yeah. Thank you, Bryn. And absolutely. Yes. If you are even thinking about becoming a speaker from Maya Lisa as a TEDx coach to Emma hosting, to having other people here who have spoken on the stage, I think you've got a lot of resources at your fingertips now. So thank you. And you are the referral marketing queen. So thank you for being here today. 
And we've got your gift here uh, in the chat as well. Okay, so we have next up, Chet Harani. Hi, Chet, welcome. Hi, good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you guys are in the world. Thank you for having me. Um, so let me start this off that I'm Chet Hirani. I'm a third degree black belt in Chinese kickboxing, which I've been doing for approximately about 16 years and also a long distance bike rider recently completed 180 miles over two days. So if someone was to ask me three things what I need to keep me going, there would simply be a lifetime supply of pizza, chocolate and the internet. And however, with that being said, I've also got 15 years experience in the software tech world, climbing up the ladder. And what I do is giving me the insight into people's minds and firmly believe that you are all capable of taking things to the next level. That being said, that is why I'm a performance coach, podcast host, and soon to be TED speaker as well. So I help business owners and high performers disrupt conflict and chaos, remove the feeling of isolation, get what they need and take them further than they actually want to be for compared to yesterday, personally and professionally. And how do I do that? I basically measure your sleep, but it all starts with your foundation, which is your emotions. Building up on this, you will have total control of your life, mood decisions and actions you actually take as well. So if you want to start rising and making progress, then you need to um, know how to actually get into your overall peak state as well. Um, a visibility tip that's working for me right now is showing up every day on social media platforms that work for me personally, providing consistent value and networking with people that comment and like your posts as well. Featuring on podcast shows is also a great way to network. Um, and I've also committed to myself posting a thousand videos, which is one video under one minute of me providing value every day, which will end on the 22nd of September, 2024. So that being said, if you'd like to connect with me, you can on LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok, all under Chet Hirani. And my free gift to you is my five states of optimization blueprint, as well as my free weekly tools and techniques, which is one email a week on increasing and maximizing your potential. I'm done. Thank you very much for having me. Fantastic. Well done, Chet. And way to like be concise, right? Kudos to Chet for just getting it all out there really fast and furious and getting all the important info in there that we were asking. So thank you, Chet. It's great to meet you personally for the first time. <laughs> so getting to play on stage with um, new potential partners and affiliates, this is really like one of the big reasons that I'm doing this is to connect with other consultants and coaches and business owners where there's a lot of synergies. So thank you. I'm glad Emma brought you into the mix here. And uh, we will go next to, we have uh, Dr. Catherine Mills. Hello, everyone. Hi, Heather. Thank you so much for inviting me to this. This is amazing. I'm taking notes <laughs> of all the wonderful tips. So hi, everybody. I am Catherine Mills. I am a licensed clinical psychologist in the state of Virginia. I have been in the mental health field for over 20 years. Um, I am certified in substance abuse treatment as well as um, my passion, which is uh, trauma-focused therapy. Um, and I want to give a shout out to, I think it was Emma. Um, I have uh, created a course called the Mental Wealth Masterclass. So I hadn't heard anyone else mention mental wealth, but um, yes, my, my passion is helping especially women um, to change the narrative about mental health and prioritizing their mental health through using self-care um, to prevent overwhelm and burnout. Um, so my tip, my visibility tip, I'm kind of new in this field, but my visibility tip is to give. Um, what I found in my career as a whole, that if you give, that energy always comes back. And that brings me to my gift. It's a free self-care checklist. Um, it breaks down just different um, examples of activities that you can do. I recommend everyone do them um, on a regular basis just to check in with themselves and take care of themselves. It's a totally free checklist. You just, you know, it has the tips for the different types of self-care from financial and professional to relational and social, social, sorry. Um, <laughs> So that's my tip. And I'm looking forward to connecting with everyone. Thanks again. Wonderful. Thank you, Catherine. And what a great gift. Self-care self is so important these days. So everyone, please check that out. Beautiful, beautiful to have you here. 
And we have, we're, we're, we're do we're going to be a little over you guys. So stick with us. We're getting there. We're down to the last few here. We've got next up Jenna Doolittle. Hi everyone. Um, Heather, thank you so much for having me. I'm learning so much. Um, Hey, Hi. <laughs> I, I don't know. You just heard what I said. I just said, thank you so much for having me, but, um, I'm Jenna Doolittle. I uh, joke that I'm a Doolittle who does a lot, but uh, around this panel of amazing people, I think everyone here probably does a lot of incredible things. Um, I'm a working actor and I also help actors get unstuck. I help them stop stressing and start booking basically all the things that we weren't taught in drama school. Um, but I'm personally also really passionate about mental health and mental health advocacy and work with SAG-AFTRA to do a lot for mental health for actors. So I feel like I can connect with some of you on that as well. Um, my visibility tips are two things. Um, create what you wish existed is the first one. Um, you know, I, during the pandemic, a lot of actors were coming to me with panic about what to do with their careers because everything shut down. And so I created a newsletter for actors with free resources. I sent it to 35 people at first and the newsletter list grew to over 5,000 and ended up landing me in the New York Times because I was just providing valuable content. It's really, I think, about creating what you wish existed for your community. And um, I, I also think it's really important to just be vulnerable. I think when we um, you know, are considered experts. Sometimes we're scared to show the things that um, maybe aren't always going right in our business or our lives. And I find that when I share the most vulnerable parts of myself, that's when people reply to my newsletter. That's when people reply to my social media posts and say, I get that. Thank you for saying that. Nobody else is talking about this. Um, so create what you wish existed and be vulnerable are my two tips. And I'd just love to connect with anyone here who also has actors as part of their audience, or um, maybe you wouldn't think actors are part of your audience, but you know, we also need help with our finances and mental health and all those things. So connecting and finding ways that we can collaborate would be awesome. Thank you all. Thank you, Jenna, beautiful. Uh, yeah, that's we've connected this past year and found we had like the Boston <laughs> connection and just it's been so impressive what you did during the pandemic to take an idea and then to get this, you know, national recognition and have this huge following. So someone to pay attention to everyone, Jenna Doolittle, thank you so much for joining us today. Well, well done with uh, getting all that info in there in a really concise <laughs> manner. You guys are rocking it. I'm going to have to memorize. <laughs> <laughs> So impressed. Uh, so we have, okay, we have a couple more here. Jean Marie Russo. Hello, hello. Thank you so, so much for having me. I, I wanted to uh, appreciate everything that is being said today. Knowledge is power, truly, truly power. And I want to touch on the power of networking connecting and doing with whatever you are, wherever you are. It is about the people that you are embraced with and connect with. It isn't about you, believe it or not. No, networking and connecting is totally with regards to the other person. So many times you go to an event and you go to a room and it could be filled with 10 people, it could be filled with 100 people. And a lot of times the thought process is, let's, let me get out there and tell everybody who I am, what I do, hand out my business cards. But that is not the way to do it. Networking means listening, connecting, listening. Find out their story, find out what they do, and then ask for their contact information. Yes, ask for their contact information. It gives you an opportunity to go back and say, who do I know that I could connect that person to? I am a global speaker. I am a CEO whisperer and a business strategist. And the speaking world needs so many people to share their knowledge, to share their power, I'm a part of, of the network inner circle, and I'm asking you, who is in your inner circle? And more importantly, who are you in their inner circle? 
It's touching people and knowing who they are and lifting them up. Getting out is visibility. That's just part of it. But my world, my mantra is, it's about people making a difference. Speaking of Success Incorporated is the difference. Thank you, Heather. Thank you, Jeannie. Let's come back down here. Hi, so great to see you. Yes, wonderful presentation, Jeannie. It's, yes, so important, really why we're all here today, right? To connect, to network, to get to know each other better. So beautiful points. Thank you, thank you. And yes, Jeannie's offering um, a business strategy session. So feel free to check out, uh, you can email her to uh, go ahead and claim that session with her. So thank you, thank you. Okay, we have a couple more. We've got Tom Palino. Hi, Tom, welcome. Hey, hey, Heather. Wow, hey, everybody. I'm Tom Paolino. I'm, I'm here in New York City. My heart is beating about a million miles a second because this is so fun and so cool. And I'm, I'm so excited to share and hear. And uh, I wanna say that even though I was not uh, on camera in the beginning, I heard everything, the castle, the whole thing. And this is awesome. Um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, my visibility tip is a pop of color because I'm an actor and when casting directors look at thumbnail uh, images, when they're choosing who to bring in, um, their images are so small and the pop of color, you can check it right now. If you go to gallery, you see Heather, Mel and Catherine first because they have that pop of redness and there it is. <laughs> so yeah, so cool. So I'm making a TV show, it's called Mackie. And what interests me is cops with PTSD, that's what interests me. Because look, you know, it's a complicated world and uh, we've been through a lot lately, uh, but I really think that cops who have PTSD and how could they not, they see gory things every day in some cases. And do they go and get mental health support? No, you know what they do? They go to the bar, drink and make sardonic humor together, like some kind of insulated group. And does that help with their mental uh, health? No, it does not help. And so before you know it, you've got a snap reaction um, and people die in some cases. And I want to be a part of uh, preventing that. So Mackie is a cop with PTSD who I will play. Uh, I've been on different shows, FBI, Blue Bloods. I was just on Blue Bloods Friday night. So these cop shows are in my uh, stratosphere and now it's time to make one. So I'm looking to connect with people. I'm looking for referrals um, to get my show on the air. Uh, the script is looking good. I got a tremendous female director who's a dear friend of mine and an amazing person. And I just can't wait to share it with the world uh, on a higher level every day. With that, I'll pass. Thanks. Well done. Perfect timing. Yeah, you guys, you're all just rocking it. Thank you. Um, it's so good to meet you. We haven't actually met face to face before. So I love how sometimes this is just our first way of like engaging and getting to know each other. So great to meet you, Tom. You've been on some really cool shows. It sounds like an incredible project. And I know there are some people here who ears whose ears perked up and will probably re be reaching out. We've got your website in there. So all the ways to reach you are at that link. And beautiful. So let's, we've got uh, two more. So we're in the home stretch here. Anna Schmidt. Welcome, Anna. Hello. Good morning. Hello. Um, well, it's five, is it 5 a.m. for you? <laughs> it's uh, 6 a.m. now. Yes. <laughs> and I, I love it. I'm collecting all these amazing freebies um, and I'm looking forward to have a look at it later. So good morning from China. Um, I live here with my partner and my two dogs, and I'm currently in quarantine because we've been on holiday, and when you re-enter China, you have to go into quarantine. So hello from my hotel room, which I haven't left for almost two weeks. Um, here in China, I run my own consultancy, and I work as a relationship and self-love coach. So I help women to ditch their toxic relationship standards by boosting their confidence, to choose the partner they deserve and desire. And I do that by shifting their mindset from feeling worthless to feeling worthy. 
Um, I'm using NLP, I'm using psychological theories, and I'm using just the uh, traditional coaching approaches, approaches to get there. My visibility tip to you is um, catching on on uh, Jeannie's suggestion with the networking. I love networking events. I um, rather prefer the smaller groups because when you have just a group of a couple of people, you can show your knowledge. You can share your knowledge. You can um, gain knowledge from the other people because you can ask for help. And what I love to do is after is to connect with everyone and set up one to one. So you get to know each other better and can see where and so if and how you can help each other. And that's, uh, I, I met many people through networking events and connecting with them. My ask for you is, um, I'm launching my Body Love Challenge on the 22nd of February. With the Body Love Challenge, I want to help women to move from body shame to body pride. So check it out and sign up. Thank you very much. Fantastic. Thank you, Anna. And yes, we have your link here so people can get, uh, get connected with you and get involved with all that you're doing. And uh, we're so happy you uh, found a way to reach us through. Uh, I mean, we've got the whole globe uh, covered here, you know, China and quarantine to Australia. I love this. So uh, thank you. Thank you for being here, Anna. And we have our coming up to our last speaker. So we'll be wrapping up just momentarily. If you guys can hang in a couple more minutes, we'll do a couple quick trivia questions. So with that, we have Andrea Elibero. Hello, that's me. <laughs> Thank you guys for sticking around. Most people have stayed, which is amazing. So I have not done a TEDx talk. <laughs> I just want to get that out there. Maybe someday soon. Um, so I am actually a part of Heather's team as her online business manager. Currently, I live in Miami, Florida, and I will be relocating in just a couple of months with my two giant dogs to um, Spain as well. So there was another person from Spain here, which is Amazing. And so I'm really excited. So what do I do? So my business is Dancing Leaf Solutions. I am a scaling and systems strategist for spiritual entrepreneurs and a certified online business manager. And in addition, I also am a business coach for soulful service providers. So basically, that means I collaborate with my clients on scaling strategies, as well as business management and implementation. So making sure that there are all the fun things like system and processes in place and doing things like launch planning and team management and all the things that I love. And I'm sure a lot of you guys don't love to do. So <laughs> I help my clients to scale in an aligned way. And in terms of visibility, everybody give amazing tips. And I just want to reiterate being consistent, showing up authentically and really focusing on creating the connection. And ta-da, I finished under time. Fantastic. Yes. Thank you. Coming back here to the spotlight. Thank you, Andrew. Yes. And I can vouch for you. Uh, Andrew does work with us as our online business manager just um, in the past, what, about almost two months now, I think, and has really helped uh, change my life for the better. <laughs> so I can highly recommend her. And she's got a great gift here in the chat for you all as well. So thank you for coming out, Andrea. And well done. Wow. Can we just um, I'll take a second. I'll even come off. I want to come off spotlight here so I can see everybody. Uh, let's all just get into gallery view here. I feel like I missed all your faces while we were doing that. It's so great to, oh my gosh, just be in this room with all of you incredible people, uh, coming out to share your gifts and your light with the world. And we just want to end it a little more fun. So I've got a couple trivia questions here and We've got um, my visibility accelerator as a prize, so why not? Uh, okay, so number one. So basically what we're gonna do, whoever puts, puts the right answer in the chat first is the winner. Okay, the first question. Who did a Facebook Live every day for a full year? I see. Ah, it looks like, oh, wait, going up. It looks, is that Trisha? <laughs> Trisha got it. Woohoo! All right, Trisha. Well done. Okay, good job. And so basically to claim your prize, just email support at prstars.net and we'll get you your prize. Thank and you. we have, okay, second question. Who has a client named Tasha who's an expert in OCD? Let's see. It's Maya Lisa. Is it Jenna? I think Jenna got that one, if I'm right. 
Yeah, it looks like it. All right, Jenna Doolittle, you got it. It's Maya Lisa. <laughs> so yep, just email us and we'll get you that uh, prize. And then finally, who has a pet named Truffle? Ah, Lee got it. John, yes. <laughs> our, our Lord of Crom Castle, yes. Well done. All right, everyone. So this is now uh, a video on the business page. If you want to share it, you can feel free to do that. We'll send you some post information on how you know you can continue to promote and support each other. And please feel free to join the after party and keep chatting in the Facebook group. And I just appreciate all of you so much. Thanks for helping make this vision a reality. We're going to be doing a bunch more of these if you want to come back, uh, you know, even not as panelists, but just to come play and watch and uh, get some power networking done for some new potential power partners. And I love you all. So let's all just take ourselves off mute and make some noise going out. And thanks for being here. Hello.